week's lesson, we're going to talk about one of my favorite winter stories, and that story is The Nutcracker. I know many of you are familiar with this story, but if you want a reminder or if you just want to listen to that story again, you can look at the video underneath this one, and there's a video of someone reading the story of The Nutcracker. After you're done watching that story, you can come back to this video and I'm going to teach you three dances to three of my favorite Nutcracker songs. So go ahead and pause the video here and come back when you're ready to learn three dances. All right, now that you're back, we're ready to learn our first Nutcracker dance. This first dance is called the Spanish Hot Chocolate Dance. This is not a very hard dance to do, but it does require you to follow along with me. So first, you're gonna find a safe place to stand up and dance. Um, you might be uh, in your backyard or maybe you're somewhere in your living room, but you need some space to move for this dance. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna put one hand on your hip and you're gonna put one hand up above your head with your palm, the front of your hand facing the ceiling. And then you're going to take your toe and you're going to point in front of you and you're going to make a big circle all the way around and then you're going to stomp two times. One, two. Let's do that again. Big circle. One, two. Now switch which hand is on your hip and which hand is in the air and switch which foot. You're going to point to the front. Big circle. One, two. We're going to do that eight times in a row. So you'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, first part of the dance. The next part is a Spanish walk. So you're going to keep your hand on your hip and one hand up this way. Then you're going to turn this way and you're going to take six steps this way. One, two, three, four, five, six. Turn around and then you're going to switch hands. You go back the other way. Six more steps. One, two, three, four, five, six. Turn around. Switch hands. Now you're going to skip. One, two, three, four, five, six. Turn around. Switch hands. One, two, three, four, five, six. Turn around. Now you're going to run to the back of the room. And then when I say go, you're going to run forward. You're going to get down on one knee. You're going to pose, and at the end you'll say, Ole! And that's it. That's the whole dance. So now I'm going to push play, and I will do the dance, and you can follow along with me. Here we go. For this next dance, you're going to need some type of light scarf. So something that's not too big and not too heavy and something that you can throw in the air 
and catch pretty easily. So you can pause the video here until you find something that will work and then come back here when you're ready to learn our next dance. This next dance is called the Chinese Tea Dance. And like I said, you'll need a scarf for this one. So now that you've got your scarf and you're ready to go, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna throw your scarf in the air two times. One, two, and then you'll just wave it side to side, side to side. And then you're gonna throw it again two times. One, two, side to side. We're gonna do this two more times. One, two, side to side. Last time, one, two, side to side. Now you're gonna take your scarf in your hand and you're gonna spit, skip in a big circle going uh, this way first. You're gonna do this for six counts and you're gonna just wave your scarf as you skip, like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then you'll turn around and go the other way. Try it with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, until you get back to where you started. Then you're gonna take your scarf and you're gonna spin it in a big circle down by your toes like this. Just down by your toes. And then you're gonna spin your scarf in front of your tummy. And then finally, you're gonna spin your scarf way up high. And at the end, you give it one big toss and catch. And that's the whole dance, it's pretty simple. I'm gonna push play and do the dance and you can follow along with me. Here we go. All right, my next dance is my most active dance. It's the most challenging, and this is called the Russian candy cane dance. You might want a big glass of water or to take a couple deep breaths before we start this dance because you're gonna be moving a lot. When you're ready, you can come back and we'll start learning the dance together. All right, to start this dance, we're gonna do a move that looks like this. You're gonna go like one, and you see my leg is out, and then my hands are kind of leaning this way too. And then I'm gonna switch to the other side two, and then I'm gonna put my hands in front of me like this, kind of they're stacked on top of each other, and I'm gonna kick, and I like to kick four times, like one, two, three, four, but if you can kick faster and you can go like this, that's fine too, but that's, that's your choice. I'm just gonna kick four times. And that's my first move. We're gonna do that whole thing four times in a row. Um, let's practice that now. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. Here's the second time. One, two, one, two, three, four. Here's the third time. One, two, three, four. Here's the last time. And that's the first section of the dance. The next section, you're just gonna turn your body and you're gonna put your hands on top of each other like they were before, stacked. And you're gonna kick six times walking this way like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, then turn around. And then do the same thing back the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
turn around. After that section, you're going to crouch down like this. You're going to put your hands on your knees, and you're going to lean one way, and then the other way, and then you do that again. Lean this way, then this way, and then you're going to do it fast. One, two, three, four. So watch that section again. You do it eight times total, eight leans, but they kind of are in groups of two. So it looks like this. One, two, one, two, and then fast. One, two, three, four. All right, then we're going to go back to the first section, but this time we only do this part two times in a row. One, two, kick. Here's the second time. Two, and kick. And then for our very big finale, the last part of the dance, you're going to keep your hands like this and you're going to spin as fast as you can, but safely, like this. Until the end of the song when you pose. All right, this dance starts as soon as the music starts. So because I'm going to push play, I might be a little late to our first move. So as soon as you hear the music start, as soon as you hear it, you're going to strike this pose. All right. I'm going to push play and I will catch up with you as soon as I'm back in my spot. All right, here we go. to rewind the video, you can do them all again with me. Have a great rest of your week. Bye.